five and I'm gonna we'll figure it out. Alright, cool. Hey, Drew, you know something? What's up? I got to tell you something, man. Did you know Did you know this? I, did you know this? I don't know. Did I? Did you know that you have a fucking diddle cave? Front light. Front light. Get off the show, you faggot. Drew has a diddle cave. Drew has a diddle cave. Drew has a diddle cave. Come on, Drew has a He got one. Drew has a He got a big one. From the side camera, Drew looks like Earthworm Jim. Drew has a diddle cave. 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 Get off the show, you faggot. Whoa, look out. Get off the show, you faggot. Whoa, strong language. Drew has a diddle cave. Drew has a diddle cave. Come on. He got one. Whoa. He got a big one. Strong language there, Drew. What do you think about that strong language? I have to uh, correct myself. Why? What did you do? I'm here in the diddle cave. The strong language. I'll just have to, you know, I'll have to take that under advisement. Yeah, because that's kind of fucked up that you said that, to be honest. Like the you he got one. Drew. It's really fucked up that you would say that word. Yeah, I'm the only person that ever uses it. I get it. I mean, do you think that you actually do look like Earthworm Jim? That one kind of got me off guard. Yeah. I didn't. I, I mean, I think I'm too fat. You think you're too fat to be Earthworm Jim? Oh, yeah. I mean. I like in the face. Yeah, you kind of got the look, but you're too you're like earthworm fat. Get that then big... I've got to have like the weird penis coming out of the top of my head, whatever the fuck that thing is. Well, you, I think you have that. That's the part you have. You know oh. what I mean? Like, I think you actually sure, I need have to get that. that. Looked at. No, don't get it looked at. You're fine the way you are, man. You're beautiful the way you are. Okay. You're you're oh. fine the way you are. You don't need to change a goddamn thing about you, you stupid idiot. I'm sorry. What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to <laughs> Throwdown. Tuesday night Throwdown episode 81. We got an earthquake going on here. Big time earthquake. We're going to be talking about this because there's so many things about this earthquake, man. There's like lots of little earthquakes going on. They're worried about the fault line. Um, you know, evacuating buildings, even in Miami. We're talking about tsunamis. I'm telling you, man, like we've been saying this for years. We've been talking about this five years, six years back, going back to when we first started monetize this. When I was having these discussions with uh, Tommy and um, Tommy, my friend Chris, just we used to talk about this all the time, and it's been like coming true every year that it's just getting worse and worse. What's up, Jet? Um, and I mean, you know, Billy the Fridge is thirsty. We talked, we've been talking about him a little bit because we were talking about Onision and all that stuff that happened. Um, right after I was on his show, Drew, did you know that? 
Really? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Jesus, I was actually convincing. I was actually going to say, you fucking kidding me? You didn't get the joke? <laughs> and you don't even know? I, 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 I slept through all night Friday night. I was just here uh, in spirit. Yeah. Well, I don't really notice you're here when you're here. To be honest. Not many people do. But yeah, he... um. And what's up, guys? Uh, the dis- the Discord's in the chat. If you guys want to call up tonight, anybody wants to be part of the show, throw down, and you want to throw down about some shit, uh, there's the Discord to jump in the on-hold section if you want to throw down about some shit tonight. Throw the fuck down. Um, but yeah, bro, listen. We're all dead. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, Might Bill- be if that new Madrid thing happens. <laughs> yeah. Or the coronavirus. I mean, it's coming at us from all angles. Now, I think... Uh, I want to talk real quickly about the Billy situation. I just find this so wild that this guy was like streaming in front of 60 people every once in a while and not really doing too much. You know, every once in a while, you know, like I said, streaming in front of 60 people, um, you know, his streams were doing average viewership of like, you know, 3000 or something like that. Unless he put out a special video, you know, like a rap video or something like that, then that would do maybe 30,000 and up a little bit. But mostly it was just hangout streams and whatever. And, you know, his videos would top out at about 3,000 views overall, you know, his live streams. Um, But then, and by the way, I think he deleted the drive to Onision's. I I think, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I, I don't think I see that. So he drove there, he made $2,000. Well, first, first I was on his show on this episode. (laughs) Then he drove there. Then he said I shouldn't have done it. Then then today he was driving around in his car. And he called it um actually he de- I think he deleted that too. But he basically called it like trolling for Oh, I see it. It's uh, baiting donos at 3 a.m. on the dark web. Yeah, how did you not What the fuck? How did you, you find that? Am I crazy? I just typed in Billy the fridge. It was like the fourth thing that came up. Really? Okay. Well, it's on his IRL. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I'm stupid. Uh, I'm looking on. Yeah, it there's right the Onision stuff too. It's, uh, it's all on his IRL. It's all in the IRL. My bad. Okay, I'm stupid. But yeah, so he, you know, like, like I said, he went to his house. He got 117,000 views, which, by the way, YouTube Jesus. fixes. YouTube, uh, yeah, isn't that crazy? He got 100 and something thousand views, and he was it was so big that then he did a video on the aftermath. But then he did baiting donos at 3 a.m. Then he dark web and he just basically like clickbaited a bunch of shit and then got out in the car and started driving. And this is like what happens when you get a bunch of donations, right? You you like freak out because normally you're sitting there doing a stream for like 50 people and you know, like you get five bucks here or there. And eventually by the end of the night, you know, you hung out, you did a five hour stream or a two hour stream and you made whatever, you know, 20 to 50 bucks or 80 bucks or something. But you go out and you drive around looking for Onision and, and you end up making like $2,000. And so now he's driving around in his car, like just trying to see if it can happen There's again. some magic to it. Yeah, like, hey, maybe it'll, it'll happen well, again. Well, here's the problem. Here's the problem. He just hops in his car and starts bullshitting. He's close enough. Maybe maybe he should have gone seen Bad Bunny or something. Made that his next escapade. And then the next person that lives in Washington that, see, that has a show or a uh, controversy see that's what he should have immediately done that like he because he was setting a trend at that at that point like it's funny to see billy show up at someone's house and just fail at interviewing them um so like it would have (laughs) been you know what i mean so like he should have gone to j station i mean it's different with onision because he knows him and he kind of knows where he lives and stuff so like it's a little bit different but yeah he should have made his next video like looking for the next who's who else is popular you know he should have gone looking for chris hansen because chris hansen's gone missing Chris Hansen was all about investigating all this stuff, and now he's gone, like, is he silent? Is he dead? Like, what's going on? Um, but, yeah, it was just kind of funny. Did he? Alive last Did he? I don't know. Is Hansen but, back? No, I, I don't know. That's I'm going to look that up. But, no, it's, it's uh, yeah, he could be like the Chris Hansen fail or something. That could be his gimmick. Like, he shows up at a house and then doesn't know what to say, and it becomes really awkward. People <laughs> yeah. probably get into that. Yeah, Chris Hansen hasn't done a video since he interviewed, remember that guy we made fun of who was like super critical of Onision? And even if, even though Onision may be a piece of shit, right? Even Onision may be a piece of shit. He is creepy. Maybe he's, maybe he's worse. Maybe he really is some kind of pedophile guy. And that's really gross and fucked up. And I hope he gets his fucking whatever. But 
there's this guy being critical of him that we stopped by to watch, and he was like, I just can't even talk about it right now because it's so... And he's, like, faking this outrage that he's so upset over Onision's kids. Meanwhile, he doesn't even have kids of his own, nor does... I don't think he even have a, has a wife. Well, that's the last video... He's divorced, isn't he? Who? You're talking about Chris Hansen. No, right? I'm talking about this guy that he interviewed. Do you remember this emo-looking oh. guy who had that grumpy face when he was talking about Onision? That guy who was like, oh, I For can't even... For some reason, I'm never that. Oh, God, it was hilarious last week. And, well, this guy was on Chris Hansen's show. This was the last video that Chris Hansen made six days ago. The rumor is Chris Hansen ran out of money, or his, his group that was funding this show ran out of money. And that's why he's not making videos. I don't know if that's true, but this guy right here, this Stevie dude. Stevie Wolf guy? Yes, Stevie. This guy. Remember this guy? It was like, I'll monetize this or something. And this guy was like, I'm just so... I can't even talk about Onision. And I can't even talk about the kids. And it's absolutely Oh, this sickening. one. Oh, this guy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, well Chris <laughs> Hansen interviewed this guy. This guy has like 30,000 subs. He don't, I don't think he has to do with anything. I don't think he has anything to do with anything. He's just some... Another guy trying to get views off of stuff. Like pretending to be upset. I'm sure phone call then. Oh, yeah, I know. I should have called in. Police are objective in their investigations. They go by the evidence they're provided. They don't take sides with people. In that in that sense that they don't take sides with people. <laughs> and he even like put on a little tux or whatever. Even though Chris Hansen is wearing like his fucking Christmas tree. Like what the fuck is this guy? Referring to it in particular. You started following him some 10 years ago? Mm-hmm. Reporting I, on him? What drew I, your attention to... This guy's been following Onision for 10 years? Is this guy a fucking loser? <laughs> what the fuck? Onision. Stevie Wolf's a fuck. Onision, Greg, James, whatever his name is today. Uh, well, that's going way back. I started following him initially after he started a lot of controversy in different commentary communities that existed at the time because he was a militant vegetarian. So he would put out his views about vegetarian. How much do you want to bet Stevie Wolf's also a fucking psycho, by the way? Does this guy look like a fucking normal person to you? He looks like he's been trying to be Dave Navarro for the last 20 years. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, JB, he you see this, JB? All right, JB, relax. Hey, by the way, did you hear that uh, JB and you had sex? Look at this. Ready? Watch this. Ooh, oh, I can come. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Why couldn't you come? I don't get it. Why? What he was doing, you couldn't come? And it, it's kind of hard. It's JB, you know. Well, it's yeah, he not got, hard at all. It was at this point know. that JB got frustrated. Listen. Ooh, oh, I can come. Well, so JB tried this. Hang on, let me try something else. Ooh, oh, I can't. Testicle festival. And there you go. Had a testicle festival, and it worked. I can't believe it. You are so blessed, uh, Drew. Back to Stevie Wolf and the fucking... Ianism ...and trying to antagonize people that didn't like how he's putting it out there, in, in the sense that how PETA does it, where they try to antagonize people into changing their dietary choices by putting it out there in an edgy way and, and trying to engage the conversation in maybe a not so positive or constructive way. And by following that controversy, I discovered his Anision Speaks channel, and he would stand up on his videos and pretend he's a guru, know-it-all. I, I knew there was a problem there, referencing people from back in the 90s that would do the same thing with self-help tapes, people that were self-proclaimed know-it-alls like Tony Robbins and such, for example, you always have to take the things people like this say with a grain of salt. And seeing the sway that he had over his audience, it concerned me then just as much as it concerns me now that even though his audience... Jesus Christ, bro. Get a fucking girl laid. Like, have sex with somebody. His concerning He's been jerking audience. Jerking off to Dave Navarro since 1990. I just, I really, his control over his audience just concerned me from the very start. Like, say what you want. Onision may be a scumbag and may be in trouble for something and maybe did something. But this guy's probably been following him since the beginning looking for stuff like this. Since the beginning. I'm betting. Because he's, this is fucking bizarre. 
Like, this is some weird fucking behavior. I've been following this guy for 10 years. And the first thing that concerned me was that he was, what, uh, that, he, that he had an audience, basically? Like, he's not like, I immediately saw this weird behavior of him, like, touching his audience or, like, putting up sex pictures. Like, none of that's what he's talking about. He's been talking about Onision since, like, forever. Like, and I'm not here defending Onision. It's just there's no new information on Onision. So, whatever. Onision's creepy, I guess. We're waiting to find out the truth about Onision. The FBI is investigating Onision. They may find out that Onision is a groomer and a pedophile or something, and they'll figure it out, and we'll talk about that when that happens. But right now, we don't really know 100% what's going on. So all I have to go on We're is just, what these people are telling me, and these people are fucking weird. People are just dying for new news. People are, are showing up to his front doorstep left and right. Well, I, I guess, honestly, it's only two people, but... Just get ready for the packs to start showing up, you know. Right. Uh, Chris Hansen, he, he only goes live once a week, and his videos, like his published videos, are sporadic at best. Oh, really? So uh, it could just be that he's, uh, you know, he hasn't made it to his next week's show. But, I mean, still, I mean, he was he was going full bore here for like the last month, and then all of a sudden, since his last live show, he hasn't really said anything. So, uh, you you could be on to something, but we'll find out tomorrow whether he goes or not. So weird. I, lo I just love... I can't stop listening to this guy just fucking... Like, just make... I don't know, man. Such, it's weird. For example, you always have to take the things people like this say with a grain of salt. And then seeing the sway that he had over his audience, it, it concerned me. Uh, the grain of salt. I was just realizing I was on my live video and not on his video. It's just completely dwindled and almost nothing. <laughs> There's still that level of control. But he still has a lot of people following him, paying uh -huh. him. Uh, not as many, and not as many anymore. But there are still a loyal core following of people that he mostly cultivates on Discord, which is it's like Skype, but you can have groups of groups of people in there. So I can also tell you what his penis looks like, Chris. Would you like to know what his in penis looks like? Um, you know, nope. I've been I looking. Know at uh, pictures of Onision, and I wonder if he even has a penis, and that's what I've been looking for proof. Well, you know, Chris, he may have a penis. If he does, I will masturbate to it in the moonlight. I will definitely do that. The fuck? Was now he's been visiting kids because I was the first victim. <laughs> yeah. So he would collaborate with people like Shane Dawson, others of that ilk, and by being featured... Others of that, you know, ilk. Why do I speak as if I want to be the most American British person ever? And, you know, he would speak to others of those ilk. And I've watched way too much Game of Thrones. I'm really trying to appeal to the female audience watching so they can see how virtuous I am trying to take down Onision. I've been following this story for 10 years, Chris, and for 10 years it's made me sick to my stomach. It has. It's disgusting, quite frankly, and I'm disgusted by it. And that's why I'm so happy that you had me here to sort of be able to paint the timeline of this questionable hate behavior at best. The fuck is this guy featured in those videos and sharing his own around it just it got him a much bigger and bigger audience as people who were fans of people like that got to see him more often they're like oh who, who's this guy so then when daniel tosh on his tosh point oh show i want to fuck onision actually features the banana sh uh, song video on his show it gets transcended from just the internet to then you know television and then the views just explode jesus there to try to get the response that he wants out of other people but it comes to relationships it could have transmogged and this goes on forever talking about this guy this video you real Chris and I, the look on his face is like i'm so interested yeah i can't believe i'm actually jacking uh, off under my facilitate desk. that for you but i think that's really what drew him together at the at the end of the day Right, he's known for faking these contracts and documents. Oh yeah, they're and, not legally binding, and he scared a lot of these women about them, making them think that they were. It, it brings up an interesting point because one of the reasons why that's so fucking weird. If Onision like 
like clearly it does seem like he is paranoid like i guess because why would you fucking videotape your kid you know i'm gonna videotape my kid when they're hurt instead of just take care of them and call the ambulance so anyway that was funny to me uh but let's move on man uh what do you know about these earthquakes um, quite a bit, actually. I can tell you this right here is there's been probably a dozen aftershocks all in the three to four range. Obviously, the big one was a 7.7 and then the uh, six point. I think they determined it was 6.3 last oh, I heard. Wow. What the um, fuck? That happened later in the afternoon. Uh, fortunately, though, no injuries, no deaths. Um, it was far enough into the Gulf of Mexico or I guess it would be the Gulf. Yeah, that's the Gulf there. Um that it didn't cause a whole lot of damage or at least, uh, you know, deaths or anything like that. Uh, they had a tsunami warning. Those were canceled. Uh, but it was felt as far as Miami and the Bahamas. Wow. For swimming pools, I saw a bunch of videos of, like, swimming pools overflowing and going across the backyard and shit. Um, buildings with the windows rattling and breaking, sinkholes all over golf courses and roadways. So it definitely did a lot of damage. But from what I've heard, the last I heard, there was no reported injuries or deaths. Imagine a dude which fucking... Is amazing. That is amazing. But it would be amazing if a guy fell down a fucking... One of those giant potholes while he's golfing. It was the one death. <laughs> oh, one death? Well, fuck him. I oh. said, and he was the one death. Oh, yeah, that no, that'd be funny, see? Oh, my, what the fuck is this? Poop shit piss. Oh. Poop shit piss. Piss poop shit. Shit piss boo. What? Poo. Penis. I'm a cum in your lung, Joe. Cum in your lung. You are gonna have a lung full of cum by the time I'm finished with you. Gone get lung cancer not from smoking but from my cum in her lung. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck, man? Come in your lung? Jesus Christ, bro. So random. I don't know what it is, but I want to go back to this again. Dan, just... This is killing me. I, we decided to go out to Washington State to see if we could, you know, get an interview or, or, or you know, have a spontaneous interaction with him was because he was making all these claims and, and the making bridge. videos that he was streaming <laughs> that put him in a rental property, mm -hmm. a hotel room. He was <laughs> flashing documents claiming they were divorce papers, <laughs> saying that he lost his home, that Kai was divorced. He did all this to gin up sympathy, apparently, to get this place. <laughs> well, woe is me, a victim. Chris Hansen's coming after me. I'm being victimized by this. Oh, everybody else is wrong. Everybody else is out to get me because I wouldn't continue the relationship. I mean, I mean, would you not be a little weird? I mean, like, even though, again, Ruben Ibanez, what up? Thanks for subbing to the channel, man. What's going on? Um, it's like, again, Onision, maybe disgusting, weird, sick fuck. Maybe he's even criminal and we don't, we'll find that out when the FBI finishes their alleged investigation. Um, the FBI is investigating him, so... They should find something or not, right? We should have a closed case on this soon. Um, but if you had everybody and their mother making videos about you, like attacking you and coming to get you and like, let's take his kids away. And like people like this Steven, Stevie Wolf guy who's been apparently stalking you for 10 years. For 10 years. You'd be a little paranoid too, to be honest. So like if, I mean, if the guy ends up being guilty of something fucked up, well, all these people were justified, and my hat's off to them for, for my hat's off to them for following him for all these years, like feeling like there was something wrong, and actually following it and figuring it out, and then actually it coming true, and then all this proof coming out, like that is amazing that people did that. But if it turns out that really nothing is wrong, in the end, nothing crazy was really done, then these people are all psychos, because like you could be fucking stalking so many other people like where were you with the with the hundreds of other youtubers who were talking to like underage kids and sending photos and other people like that where the hell are those people right now crystal mckenzie thanks for subbing to the channel what's up um but yeah man the earthquakes are fucking scary that they, they evacuated in miami um classrooms i mean over in the caribbean that's where it's really fucked up right and there's a uh, kingston jamaica 
Um, I, ju- I just saw a video from all over the place. Island, islands, uh, islands uh, cracked roads, sewage spilling from Maine, sinkholes, uh, minor tsunami of, uh, gosh, not even a foot was recorded. That's not even worth mentioning. Uh, Six-story building in Kingston, campus of University of West Indies, uh, consisting of 300 students evacuated. South Florida tremors felt. Several evacuations occurred, as you said earlier. And uh, Cuba tremors were felt on the southern coast of the island. So, yeah, I mean, it, they were fortunate exactly where it hit. If you actually had a diagram pulled up, it hit dead in the center in between Cuba, Jamaica, and the Cayman Islands. So um, there's been a lot worse earthquakes hit over the last couple hundred years in that area. And this is probably the luckiest they've ever been. Yeah. Because that was blowing up for me, and I was like, oh, man, something really bad's happening. But it's almost like they got, like you said, they got lucky again. Like, nothing nothing ended up happening. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 7.7 shit. Seven can really fuck what shit up. What if the turkeys yeah. ate us? What if they filleted us? Holy shit. What if they killed us and ate our children? What if the turkeys ate us? Muhammad! What if they filleted us? Abdel! If the turkeys ate us, if they had to hate us, the Thanksgiving was a little bit different. Kobe! Instead, the turkeys ate us, they gobbled us apart. But first, they'd eat our nuts. And then they eat a bus. The turkeys ate us. What if, what if, what if the turkeys ate us? You want some of this? Hashtag Turkey Club for life. And for the record, fried frog legs are quite yummy. Oh. Ha ha ha. Muhammad Abdel, what's up, man? Thank you for the $29. Holy fucker. Yeah, dude, frog legs. I'll eat them up, man. Let's go. I'll try them out. I'll try them up, Muhammad team uh which lakers team he played on yeah it seems like he was just the kind of athlete the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the los angeles Lakers, los angeles lakers community oh. if i can ask you to stick with us for oh the, athlete, the, athlete, the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the los angeles Lakers, los angeles lakers community if i can ask you to stay with us for <laughs> oh, go oh to my Bill god Rose. good god i can't even i can't Did even you hear this? her excuse yeah she said, Nakers. Shit bum. Yo, I just read the description of this live stream and it says someone on MSNBC said the N word. What is that all about? <laughs> was it Crystal? I bet it was her. She was just trying to give a shout out to her boy Nick Gers. It was a different lady. Uh, Joe's Dirty Laundry. Thank you for becoming a $5 shit bum. What's up, Joe's Dirty Laundry? She, she claimed that she was trying to say Nick's. For yeah. whatever reason, and then realized it and said Lakers. Two things I want to call bullshit on there is one, why would the Knicks even come to mind? The only comparison is they're a basketball team. And second of all, she thought way too long about it. There was almost a second of hesitation there. It was weird. Just, uh, I don't, I'm not saying she said the word on purpose or tried to pull a fast one. But no, you wouldn't. I mean, no, just, that's just, retarded. I don't believe she would say it on purpose. Anybody thinks she's actually like, but, this is something. She's an she Her fucked up. Sounds stupid. She fucked up and said it for some reason. I don't know why, but like it happens. Like stuff like that happens. Even Lakers, and then you think of the New York Knicks, and then you think in that. Maybe, wor- I, I, I don't know. know. Middle finger, Joe. Knife, knife. What's up? Knife, Joe. Knife, shh, knife, shh, Joe. Shh, shh, coffin, shh. coffin, oh. coffin, coffin. Hi, Joe. Los Angeles Lakers community, if I could ask you to stay perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Nakers. Com- 
And the the worst, didn't she the say bad Lakers thing. Like three seconds earlier. What was that? Did she say Lakers like three seconds before that. Did she say Lakers? No, I mean, um, she said Lakers after it. She said Lakers. She said Lakers after it to correct like, herself. Correct herself. Yeah, but she said. Gotcha. I mean, my thing is like, I get it. It was probably obviously some lady working at MSNBC. By the way, MSNBC, the biggest virtue signal is there are. Like, oh my God! If anybody does anything, cancel them. I hate them, and we're gonna get rid of them. And she goes and says that. So it's funny to me that she's under attack because she's probably somebody who's been a virtue signaling psycho herself. And now she's under attack. And that's hilarious to me because that's what those people do. Um, <laughs> what's up, man? Look, Markiplier just gave us a dollar. Mark here, just roaming around YouTube for um, Unis Anus ideas. You guys are hilarious. Subscribe to me. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Thanks, bro. <laughs> Not really the real Markiplier, but I appreciate the dollar. The real Markiplier would have dropped a thousand dollars, or maybe not a thousand, but a hundred or ten or something. Not a dollar, but nice. Wrestling try. out there says I want the jersey. <laughs> what jersey? Oh, the, yeah. Well, I want that jersey. That's the uh, when the KKK takes over the world, they'll uh, rename the Lakers that. Um, Chris, and the, Chris Jericho will be the one in charge. Yeah, dude, it's fucked up. I mean, listen. Obviously, she made a mistake because no white lady wants to lose her $300,000 a year job at MSNBC. By the way, a hugely biased, liberal, extreme left, lying news wet network, similar to Fox on the right. Um, Super chat. Super chat. Kidding, Joe. Captions actually says the N-word. Does it? <laughs> That's funny. I'm not surprised. Um... So listen, this this fucking idiot lady said this. But the biggest problem I have with it is that she says she said Nakers. That the like Lakers. So she's trying to say she said N A K E R S. No. I don't believe you. I listened to it like six times after I heard that excuse. And that that's that was another reason why I kind of lost trust in her excuse altogether as to why she even said it. Liberals are racist too. Actually, liberals are more racist in many ways, to be honest. Well, some some ways. I don't like the liberals or or the Republicans. I fucking hate both parties. They're both fucking a bunch of racists. Anybody that's like Biden's camp and fucking whatever, like those, they're all fucked up. But no, um, yeah. So like you said, she could have said Nick like K N I C K E R S. So she could have said like I I mix Nicks and Lakers together. Which that's how that's why we got that word, but why she thought of the Knicks, I don't know. Did she grow up in New York? It seems like a convenient excuse. I, I feel like her like her publicist went, "Hey, I've got a great excuse for you," as opposed to just saying, "Oh, I flubbed my words." Because if you just come out and say that, then people are going to say, "Well, why was that word even in your mind?" or whatever. No, well, but she should have said publicist or agent or whatever said, "Hey, you know they've got the Knicks and their basketball. People will buy that." I don't know what she did, maybe. I mean, like, it was so... I mean, she should have just said, listen, like, I've never said anything like that. I mix Lakers with something, and it came out as a racial slur, but, like, there's no chance in hell that I'm saying that I would want to say a racial slur on the TV. I've never said a racial slur, assuming she hasn't, I've never said a racial slur in my private, in private, to anybody. You know, or, or like, I don't say that in private. Why would I say it publicly on the air like so I could lose my job? I apologize to everybody, and it was the most horrific timing, and I, I hate myself right now, and I'm embarrassed, and I'm sick, and uh, I fucked up my words, and that's all I did. Words can sound alike, and I fucked up my goddamn words. It's not some hidden racism. It's not some whatever people are going to say that. It's not that at all. It's just I'm an idiot, like, and I fucked up, and that's all you can say. And if she said that, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that makes about that makes sense because I believe her. Because why would she want to say that on the air? So, but if but but being like, oh, I didn't really say that. I sort of said Nakers. I said Lakers, like Nakers, like what? <laughs> like, just what are you doing? Like, if you just said like I fucked that up. And I want people to know that it's not some hidden agenda. It's not some weird thing that I was told to say. I don't have some weird, you know, whatever. It's just fucking I messed up my words and it came out as a racial slur. I've heard people say the F word on air before by accident or the C word even. And they weren't really saying those words. They just kind of came out in their head. We have brains. I can't even heard the weatherman do the N word once. And yeah. again, a flub. It was by accident. 
it's a, it, I mean, dude, it's a pretty sort of a standard thing. To, but not, but yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. If I, but if you're black, maybe you're thinking that was some kind of conspiracy signal or something. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. From I'm, from I know that like I don't really think that, but I'm just saying there are there's black people out there right now. They're on my Facebook page, who do believe this is some kind of like signal, of um, racist signal or uh, move of power. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna go say this on the air and nothing's gonna happen to me. Like sort of a power move, or a weird, or like they, or and then there's people, and then we're getting into the other stuff, which is that somebody killed Kobe, then killed, set that helicopter I was down. Out to say it's funny you mentioned controversy when, uh, or uh, conspiracy rather. Yeah, right. I'm just saying I, I, those are real things that are really being talked about. I'm not coming up with this. Those are real things that are really trending that people are really talking about, and I'm dead serious. And it's all over, pr- probably, most likely. Occam's razor, she just had a brain fart and said that, you know, um, but if that's not even a good example, of, <laughs> but whatever, you know what I mean? Like she basically, <laughs> that's, no problem with it. That, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. See, like I fucked up cause I'm trying to read something as I'm talking and I should never be reading something while I'm talking. Um, but no, this is like to me is just a fuck up, but I will entertain the conspiracies and the idea of that because people are. So I'd like to go down those roads and see what, why people are saying that and what people think about this. Um, but yeah, here it is again. I mean, it's just so. It, it to me, it's just hilarious. Like we had six call the show the other day. Six is one of the listeners, and he said he was dying, like he was laughing his ass off. Like most people that I know laughed at this. We're like laughing. But the only the only reason why people weren't laughing is because of Kobe. Like people were so upset about Kobe Bryant, obviously like they actually didn't laugh. But this was the thing that actually got me to laugh finally. But I'm also not a giant Kobe fan. I'm it's not like I'm I'm not like some big giant I don't know all this stuff and I'm not I'm not idolizing Kobe Bryant. But people that are and then they hear this are like really upset by it. Um at some point you've got to You've got to break the uh, the sadness, the tension, whatever the word yeah. is you want to call well, it. Well, this did it. <laughs> I mean, hell, I, I mean, I'll be honest. Later that night, I said something really fucked up about Kobe on air, and you know, it was just we'd been talking about it for thirty minutes, and I'm like, you know what? Let's change topics. But here's a joke, and it was pretty yeah. fucked up. So for that, I apologize to Kobe. Rest in peace, and <laughs> I'll say it again. Well, <laughs> you don't care about you. Just the kind of athlete, the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers could be. <laughs> oh. See, she pauses there because I believe she's doing two things at once. So to me, she's either reading something wrong, or it almost sounds like a teleprompter read wrong, because she pauses and then says it. And I don't know. You know what was in the next sentence then? What is she doing? Like, there's a weird pause. There is. There's a, on the Los Angeles sun, and, and as she pauses, and then she says that. Like, what? That's so weird. Listen again. I mean, I know we went over this last show, but still. It's just the kind of athlete, the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers could be. <laughs> if I could ask you to stay with us, we're going to oh go uh, to Bill Roden. He's joining me. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I would just love to hear a fucking... I would love to hear a compilation of people reacting to that at home because it's just like, 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 but live reactions to that. Like you're watching and you're sad and you're staring at the screen. You're just thinking about Kobe and you're like, oh, my God, you know, like, it's like, oh, my God, man, I can't believe that Kobe's gone. Like, couldn't deny how much he brought believe. to the team, no matter which team, uh, which Lakers team he played on. Yeah, it seems like he was just the kind of athlete, the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers. Kavita, if I could ask you to stay with us, what? we're going to oh go uh, to Bill Roden. What, He's the joining me. what the fuck did she say? What the fuck? What this white motherfucker? What? What the fuck? Oh, motherfucker, they're still doing it to us, motherfucker. Oh! <laughs> just the kind of athlete, the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers <laughs> community. If I could ask you to stay with us, we're going to oh go uh, to Bill Roden. He's joining me. Oh, my God. What a stupid bitch. What a stupid bitch. You're on the fucking national TV. 
in one of the worst times ever to say racial stuff or anything like this. People are fucking destroyed. Their lives are destroyed for just calling them racist, even if they're not racist. And you're announcing the death of one of the most famous, rich, beloved sports African-American athletes ever. And you call them the Los Angeles N-words. <laughs> MSNBC! <laughs> Can you imagine if Fox News had done this? If Fox News had done this, there would have been fucking headlines everywhere! See the racists at Fox News! See the racists over there! But no, it happened on MSNBC, so whoopsie, it's a mistake. Oh, it happened on MSNBC, so whoopsie, it's a mistake because MSNBC couldn't possibly be racist even though we treat black people like fucking animals. Oh, it couldn't possibly be racist on MSNBC because our little black people that we treat like animals over here want to vote for a liberal black man. Uh, we'll virtue signal for you and tell you what you should do and be. Oh, we know what's good for you, black bitch. We know what's good for you, black people. Welcome to MSNBC and CNN. We know what's good for you. We'll tell you what's good for you, black people. Oh, yeah, you're the white people are racist and stuff like that. <laughs> you're an invisible cage. <laughs> you better vote left. <laughs> Sorry, um, but uh, the truth the truth is more fucked up than you would actually believe, wouldn't it? MSNBC, oopsie, it was a mistake. Fox News, you can see the racism that breeds inside of Fox News that starts at the beginning and leads to the top. Even their on-air anchors let it slip. They can't even hide. Come on, bro. Give me a break. Give me a break. Fuck her anyways. What's worse, the people on the right that actually hate black people or the people on the left that use black people that hate them but you pretend to like them to use them for their own uh, agendas? It's weird. Both sides have each each of that. It's weird. Just all fucked up. I mean, why can't we just all be people? <laughs> you know, <laughs> It's really that simple. I, I stopped I stopped watching Fox News years ago because Fox News was so fucked. But I now I, I can't I don't watch I don't watch MSNBC for sure anymore. They're definitely bull, bullshitters. And CNN obviously is bullshitters. There's no news anymore. When we were kids, we were seeing the end of the real news, the news that used to report stuff and they would just let you think they'd, they'd be now they would. It's different. Then they would choose the stories to tell you about, but they wouldn't put their opinions on it. So so the, the old problem used to be this. The old problem used to be um, if five things happened in the world today, the news would choose two of them, maybe that fit their agenda. And then they would read the news to you and tell you about the news. They wouldn't really put their own opinions and spin on it. You know what I mean? They would just sort of be like, today in Afghanistan, 70 people were murdered when a big fat whore sat on them. President McAllister went to meet with the prime minister of bumfuck asshole today, and he was met with angry protests in the streets. Serbia is still having trouble getting water to rapists. And in Mexico, seven men have been alleged to be one, uh, seven among the many that have been raping wild coyotes for the last seven years. People in America responded to this today by writing in their local newspapers to stop the coyote raping in Mexico. I, for one, agree with them. My name is Mark Schoper, and this is ABC7. We'll be back with more news after this. That was the news back then. There wouldn't be a, let me tell you why this black guy and this white guy and this has to stop and what the hell and blah, ah, Russia pee on, blah. Like, there's none of that. There was none of that. There was just fucking, here's the news. Now, we rigged which news we were going to tell you about, maybe, but at least we told you about the fucking news and you figure it out yourself. Now it's, he's a this, he's a that, he's a this, he's a that, he's a racist. 
He's not a racist. They're globalists. They're not globalists. They're against the world. They're not against. I'll tell you this. Here's the proof. We manipulated the proof. Here's the proof. And we told you this. And we'll tell you that. And we'll just say what we want. We'll get nine people on stage to tell you our opinions and keep saying the words over and over again. Oh, Russian spy. Russian spy. Russian spy. Russian spy. Russian agent. Russian agent. Russian agent. Russian agent. Russian agent. Russian agent. Russian spy. Russian spy. Trump. Impeach. 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 Impeach, impeach, impeach. So the, the method now <laughs> is to program you with shit on, on, and on everywhere or manipulate you or, or make shit up and then deliver it to you and you just believe it. And to pit everybody against each other and it fucking works amazing and it's not the news that we used to have. It's almost unbelievable the difference. So it's worse. So now they can pick and choose what they want to tell you about, but not only can they pick and choose what they want to tell you about, but then they manipulate the truth and then tell you the manipulations, and then they bring on multiple guests who give their own opinions and pundits who act like they're reporters, but they're not, who also drive that word home, and then they bring on one person who's like extremely the opposite way or crazy and this doesn't matter, Fox, MSNBC, CNN, whatever. They bring on somebody who's, like, super crazy, so then you, like, see these people are nuts, and and then you get programmed, like, wow, they're nuts. Like, we're smart, we're the good ones, and they're fucking crazy. Like, you, you either believe, oh, my God, the left wants to murder babies, or you believe that, oh, my God, the right wants to control a woman's pussy, like, and take the, and, like, if they, they hope they get raped and then keep the baby and have to go through childbirth. Like, there's no middle ground of like oh yes i see what i see abortion for what it really could maybe be it's either you're murdering babies or you're fucking you like to control women's pussy holes like it's 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 and they manipulate they go on that basis and manipulate the shit out of everybody it's unbelievable it's fucking wild it's good the game the game the game is interesting i think they realized that they weren't gaining viewers by just sharing boring news so they're like oh if we give our opinions um, you know, everyone will want to see that, but then they split their audience because between the three, I mean, three to four major networks, if you want to count HLN, they all, uh, you know, split different ways and different opinions and then bicker with each other. I feel like this started around 9-11 too. And I don't know why really that correlates other than hmm. prior to 9-11, when it, when you heard breaking news, that meant shit was going down something right. big was going down now breaking news <laughs> is a cow tripped in a field and broke its leg in yeah omaha nebraska or, and now that's some like big major fucking news story because if they they knew they found out in 2001 that if they put the words breaking news on there yeah people will watch oh yeah yeah of course so yeah. now Whenever they're going to do a story like, say, Anderson Cooper goes off on Donald Trump about wanting to buy Greenland. We remember that from a few months ago. Oh, yeah. It, it's a breaking news at the bottom. And Trump wants to buy Greenland. And, and they took this like small little joke that Trump told months ago and turn it into this giant breaking news. And we're going to give our opinion and talk about how Trump's an idiot when all along it was a joke. Right. It was it was all just a but, joke, like, and they took it for real. But people watched. It, yeah, it's kind of dumb. the whole fake news. Fake news. Have you seen the video of Don Lemon asking that rape victim, like, why didn't you just bite his dick? Did you see that? Oh, no. I mean, it doesn't sound like a horrible uh, thing to think of. I mean. <laughs> I mean, but it's just yeah, bizarre. I mean, like, it's from the other it's day. It's not a like, bad idea is what I'm trying to say. Let me see if I can find it, because it's fucking hilarious. It's like, what in the world? I thought I retweeted it. Um, Let me see if I can find it. I swear to God, I retweeted this. Um, MSNBC created cancel culture we're living in, which has no regard for facts, reasonable explanations, so I can't say I feel bad for you now that the mob is coming for you. How does it feel to get a dose of your own medicine? I love that tweet by Mark Dice. That's so funny. Uh, she said the N-word by accident. Now she's being ended. And and she probably went after people for all kinds of bullshit um, before. Let me see if this is it. No, that's not it. That's the Kobe thing. 
I'd like to know more about her. I got <laughs> it somewhere. Uh, I had opinions on in the past. Yeah, I'd love to see what else she said in the past if she's ever said ridiculous stuff. Um, the the lady from SNL the other day that said the stuff about the white guy stuff, like she said all kinds of racist comments about everybody, which is fine because it's like she's joking, so that's okay. But in the type of culture we're in, where you're in trouble for everything you do or whatever. It's like kind of funny that she gets away with that, but she would never get away with the other things that she tweeted that she deleted, by the way. Tweet, tweeting uh, jokes about all kinds of people, but she deleted them. But the white people jokes are okay. She keeps those. Um, let me play the uh, donations real quick while I look for Super this. Jack. Super Jack. Super Jack. MSNBC goes full racist and CNN attacks Cosby victims. Yeah. How about that? How weird is it, man? CNN and MSNBC just gross. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, what the a little hell? bit of the bubbly. That's it. Jake DeMarco. We at WNBC are proud of our reporter. We actually promoted her to head racist. <laughs> oh, I meant head reporter. We actually encourage racist remarks on our stations. We can't help you people are soft ass pussies who get spot hurt easily. WNBC. WNBC. Can somebody tweet me that Don Lemon video again? It's not on. They took it down from their YouTube. Jake DeMarco, why are you giving me money, Jake? What's up, bro? What's up, baby? And Casey is raw. Thank you for the donation before that, Casey. Why this? They uh, CNN took the video down. Oh my God, they took the fucking video down. She's like, why don't you just bite his dick? You know, I just, Don Lemon is a creepy fuck. And a star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles niggers. <laughs> oh my God. Perfectly cast on the Los Angeles niggers. It's, it's not even Nick. It's not even Nick's like Nick. It's not Naker like Laker. It's not Nick like Nick. It's nig. It's nig. It's nig. And listen, I don't give a shit. It's just a word. In the end, it's just a word. She fucked up what she said. But why did she be like, oh, I, I didn't say that. I said, like, it sounded like that because I said, n no. It's not, it's not what anybody heard. Just fucking say, I, I said the wrong word. It sounded like a racial slur and I fucked up. And I just, um, it's probably, it's, this is the worst thing in my career and I'm embarrassed. I can't even. Look, I can't even speak. I want to be. I, I want to be fucking. You freak out. You know, it'd be really funny if she did freak out. Like I'm waiting. Like if somebody just, because I'd probably freak out. Because I'd be just. I, I wouldn't. I'd be like, I, I can't believe I did this. I'm never gonna hear the end of this. This is it. I'm fucked forever. I got here and I'm fucked forever. I, I just throw a meltdown. Was perfectly. He was just the kind of athlete, the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers. Kavita, if I could ask you to stay with us, we're going to go oh uh, to Bill Roden. He's joining me. <laughs> oh, here we go. Thank you, Jake DeMarco. Found it. Here we go. This is so fucking bizarre. Now CNN took this down, so they're uh, at least Mike Zernovich got it. This is hilarious. Now we're throwing down, baby. Now we're throwing down. Don Lemon, the fucking weird fuck. Guy that's also like... Throwing it down in Discord, too. Oh, really? It's going down over there? There's a few of them over there. Oh, Dr. Earl, yeah. what up, man? We'll get you over here in a minute. There he is. Hey, Bird's here, too. Uh, all right, back to... Uh, this. And, and, mm -hmm. and please, I don't, I don't mean to be crude, okay? Yeah. Because I know some of you, and you said this last night, that he, you lied to him and said, I have an infection. Mm -hmm. And if you rape me, or if you do, if you have intercourse mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. me, then you will probably get it and give it to your wife. Right. And you said he, was, he made you perform oral sex. Right. You, you know, there are ways not to perform oral sex if you oh. don't want to do it. Um, I was kind of stoned at the time right. and quite honestly that didn't even enter my mind mm, yeah. now <laughs> i wish it would have right but yeah you really nailed it don you're right meaning the using of the teeth mm -hmm. right yes to, that's what i'm thinking weapon, you're yeah i didn't even think of it biting so um ouch I, yes <laughs> I, I had to ask I yes mean, no it, it, i didn't it didn't yeah. cross my what a creepy 
fucking weird fuck Don Lemon is. And I know that he's butt pumping some guy after this is over, but what a weird fuck Don Lemon is. Why didn't you just bite his dick? This is the news network. I just want you to know, this is the news network. Now, if I'm the reporter... These are the people that don't get demonetized on YouTube also. Yeah, I'm demonetized. They're not. I'm banned for life on Twitter. They're not. Alex Jones is banned from YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you name it, everywhere. He's banned from everywhere for saying wrong things. Well, CNN says wrong things. They're promoted. They've done the same thing. Did Alex Jones say something fucked up about Sandy Hook that wasn't right? Yeah. CNN has said a bunch of fucked up stuff that wasn't right. Where the fuck is their ban? I mean, like, where's the fucking consistency here? Who the fuck is Don Lemon? He's a fucking psycho. Like, this is fucking bizarre. Like, dude, so if you're a reporter and you're sitting there with a rape victim and you're like, so they, he made you do a uh, blowjob. So, so basically, Don was like, well, but there's the method of biting it. So you just think, like, any woman would love to bite a dick. Like, would love to just bite into it so it bleeds all over them. So I'm going to bite his dick so it bleeds all over me and it gets all over the place. It's the same thing as fighting him. What's the difference? You could have punched him in the balls. You could have punched him in the throat. You could have poked him in the eye. You could have ran away, maybe. Why didn't, he, why didn't he ask her that? Like, well, you know, you could have, instead of sucking his dick, you know, you could have ran away. Oh, instead of sucking his dick, you know, you could have pretended like you liked it and then punched him in the balls. Why didn't you think of that? Can you imagine if somebody, and again, I don't like Fox, I don't like CNN, I don't like MSNBC, I don't like any of these news channels, but the hypocrisy, if, if Fox interviewed a rape victim like this and said this type of stuff, like, they would be just blown up. This is barely. Surprised she just sat there and took it, and she was like, "Ooh, ouch." Yeah. Oh, like I never. Wow, I didn't think of that. Why not call this dude out? If maybe she wasn't bothered by it, maybe she sat there and she was like, "Oh, maybe he does have a point. Maybe I should have." Because she did kind of say maybe, that. Maybe she's lying about the whole thing. I mean, like this is weird. She did weird. say she was stoned. She's like, "Oh, well, I was uh, stoned. stoned," and you know, what the fuck does like, that so, mean? So wait, were you an unwilling participant? Yeah. What I mean, what does that mean? I was stoned. But still, like, if you're Don Lemon... She didn't say she was drugged. She said she was stoned. You don't get... No one makes you get stoned. You get yourself stoned. Yeah, it's like, I wasn't like, oh, he, oh well, I was date raped. You know, that's like that... That's not what she said. So... Yeah, like, her, her story is even weird. Like, they're both fucking weird. This whole thing is weird. I mean, listen, if I'm, if I'm interviewing a rape victim, my thing is, is... So, you know, he put his... He was going to, you know, make you, you know, perform oral on him. At any point, did you think about, like, maybe I'll try to escape? Or did you ever think about maybe fighting back in some way? Or what was the, what was your mindset at that point, you know? And then she could have said, no, I never, I just didn't. I was a little bit stoned and it was happening. And I just felt like I had to go with it or whatever, you know. But it's like. Why didn't you bite him? Like, it's just so fucking weird. Like, he specifically was like, well, we'll just bite his dick. I do that to my boyfriend every night. I'm Don Lemon. I bite my boyfriend's dick. I bite my boyfriend's asshole, too. I bite his grundle, and I fucking bite his ball sack, and I bite his little fucking squishy fucking little taint. Like, what the fuck? Because mm -hmm. we, and, and, mm -hmm. and please, I don't, I don't mean to be crude, okay? Yeah. Because I know some of you, and you said this last night, that he, you lied to him and said, I have an infection. Mm -hmm. And if you rape me, or if you do, if you have intercourse mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. me, then you will probably get it and give it to your wife. Now that's a great idea. So that was a great move on her part. But Don Lemon has a better idea. Right. You said he was, he made you perform oral sex. Right. You, you know, there are ways not to, <laughs> you know, there are ways to not do that. So the ways to they not censor it there was that censored or something? I, I don't that's know. The second time I didn't hear something. It's like yeah, there's ways to not do it. it look, it's called fighting him. Like I mean, so th th it doesn't matter. Bite, stab, push, punch, whatever. You didn't need to ask her why didn't you bite his dick. All you had to do was ask her, did you ever think about fighting back at that point? Like, did you ever think there's maybe I could you know do something to 
you know, take him out or punch him in the in the in the balls, you know, something like did you ever think about fighting back at that point? You know, but he specifically wants to know, why didn't you bite his dick? Why didn't you bite his I mean, cock? You, I mean, you don't know. I mean, fighting back is kind of a 50-50 thing. He could turn around and hurt you even worse. But, you but, know? but so, Don Lemon thinks if she bit his cock, though, that but, he wouldn't fight back or something. If you're down a little more, but... <laughs> imagine if, like, you were like, she made... A, a girl rapes a guy, right? A girl rapes a guy. And you're like, she made me lick, like perform oral on her. Oh, yeah? Did you ever think about, you know, there's ways to, you know, you could have bit her pussy. Like, what the fuck? Why did you ask about biting the genitals or biting the dick or biting? Why didn't you just ask about fighting back? Why is there, I don't understand. Or like, why, or like, why wasn't the question. I, I get it. He what about what about like did you, did you ever think about like just saying no to him? <laughs> I mean, like, what what's the what the fuck? A better place to start at least. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if he would have said, "Well, did you uh, did you consider fighting back?" and if she went, "Well, you know, he had me tied up, or he was much bigger than me, and I was scared," then boom. They, I mean, they, there's your conversation. <laughs> he just went straight for the gusto, though. Yeah. Uh. Did you ever think Sometimes about? You don't have to say what you're thinking, you know. Did you ever think about eating his ass out? Like, did you ever think that? Did you ever think just like, you know, I could eat his ass, and I could just gobble his ass? Perfectly cast on the Los Angeles niggers. Com- <laughs> Super Jack. Super Jack. I love it. Don Lemon is a fucking retard. I think Don Lemon is a retard. Yeah, I agree. And uh, Drew Bar 100, what up, Drew Bar 100? Thank you, man. What's up with the AEW women? I don't want to talk about wrestling, but I do want to show this. Oh, my God. That was loud as fuck. What the fuck? Oh. These girls suck in AEW. Like, what is that? First of all, why is Nyla Rose sitting there not catching her, I guess? And why is she even doing this move? Why was Nyla that, Rose? That was the men. Why, that was the men. They would have kicked their, his ass in the back. Yeah. Why is Nyla Rose standing about ten feet away from where you would normally be for something like this? I mean, unless she thought she was going to suicide dive, and they called the spot wrong, because that might have been the distance for a suicide dive. Uh yeah, that's a great point. Looks like maybe suicide dive. She's too far away for a suicide dive. No, she's too... I mean, unless she's like fucking ricochet or something, you're... I mean, that's even far for that. No, but... on a suicide dive, like, that's still too far I away. I don't know... I don't know how well she can, you know, jump and shit. Like, like I said, if it was Ricochet or Rey Mysterio in his younger days or something, sure, but... Woo! Man, <laughs> wrestling is retarded nowadays. This fucking gymnastic show that they're all doing they're fucking retards seriously when sim snooka fucked up catching the undertaker and damn near killed him <laughs> right. you didn't see him too much longer after that just get rid of these just get rid of the women's division just get rid of just get rid of everybody um but yeah the the earthquake so the symptoms of the coronavirus it's just taking over leah goodbye leah. basically the symptoms i have right now of this common cold Really? You yeah. know, that's well, what's weird about it. Well, the the thing that's making things fucked up is people are getting the regular flu right now like crazy. So right. it's like you're so many people are getting the real flu right now, the actual regular flu. People are getting it like crazy right now. It's been going on since like a couple weeks ago, and um, it's still going on right now. So right as the coronavirus is spreading the news of it all over the place of this case, that case, this guy's sick, that guy's sick. And the, and it's like now everybody's freaking out that I've got coronavirus. Um, I mean, dude, runny nose. I haven't been able to figure out is how do you diagnose it? Like, how do you know? I mean, you're kind of getting that already, but runny nose, headache, cough, sore throat, fever. It sounds like a fucking NyQuil commercial. Yeah. Not feeling well? Like, no I shit. How do you diagnose that? 
Yeah, and how are people dying from it so much? I mean, they, they, the total just went over 100. Over 100 deaths already, 4,515 cases as of Tuesday confirmed. Um, oh, worldwide. Because I'm assuming most of those people are kids and older people, especially older people. You know, it's got to be. I mean, we can look it up. Maybe they have that info. I don't know how old are the victims. I mean, yeah, that probably attributes to the deaths. I mean, influenza probably has those many numbers by by this point this, you know, uh winter season. But how how do we know it's not the flu? And, and I I'm being honest. I don't know enough about the coronavirus to sit here and speak like a fucking expert. I don't think either of us are fucking experts on this. Right. But what is the difference in you know, why is it what sets it apart? Why why is it creating more Well, because we don't have issues we don't have a vaccine whatever. for it, we don't have protections against it. Our bodies haven't seen this type of virus before. It's a different it's a mutated virus. So it makes it stronger because it's mutated. So it's some kind of com combined mutated virus. Um that the fuck do these things come from anyways? Where do they come from? In a from? lab? Because, I mean, it, it, when where was the coronavirus in 2018, 2017, 1997? We never heard of this fucking thing. How does it just pop up out of nowhere? Because of the mutation. It, it, it's, it, it lived in animals and then came out and mutated. And it's extremely... Um, what's the word? It's extremely uh, contagious. So it's you're extra susceptible to it. Like it's crazy, but it's it's yeah. I mean, don't obviously, start in animals, but super jet, super jet. I don't know. I guess. Can I, just... I get first dibs on Leo? God forbid happens. Hell yeah, baby. You can have her. If I die, you got her. Casey is raw. Go ahead. If you die before Joe, he gets your video game collection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a great point. A lot of people at the new events this weekend knew who you was, but I couldn't find next JCS shirt. But in April, I'm gonna and again, and I'll be in full JCS gear. Hell yeah, 27 Freddie Mitchell. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah, you should have been there telling everybody about it. Thank you so much, Freddie Mitchell. It looked awesome going to meet the NWA people. In the year 20. 17, 20, 18, 20, 19, 20, and 2020, the biggest epidemics. All epidem Oh wow, look at this. I don't know if this is true, but Degu in the chat says all epidemic in the year twenty seven or twenty end in twenty. Okay, in I see 20. what you're saying. Seventeen twenty, eighteen twenty, nineteen twenty, and twenty twenty. Is that fucking real? That's bizarre. I'd have to see some statistics on that because what what was the thing we had a few years ago that was similar to this that everyone was freaking out about? Well what was that? fucking virus called oh ebola well no ebola is i mean this, right now this thing's only this thing's only killed 100 people i think ebola is still bigger than that isn't it currently ebola or old ebola like what ebola used to do just in general in the last five years hasn't it killed more no. people no ebola doesn't no i don't think so how many people died of ebola I don't think a lot of people. Um, okay, uh, a total of 3,200 cases of Ebola. Of so maybe it is a little bit bigger. So I don't know where the... Three, uh, depends on the mortality rate. Um, 200 Congolese had died of Ebola by November 2018, so more deaths. 2,100 deaths. Because I don't think not too many people... Huh? It looks like 2,100. 2,100 people? Hey, that was know. just uh, people from the Congo that had died. That was the number I came across. Okay. I think pretty much Ebola, if you get it, you're fucked. I, I don't know where, where they progressed since then, but when it was at its peak, they were basically like, you're fucked. Sorry. See ya. Well, that was before, I think, when we didn't know what the fuck it was, I thought. Um... 2013 to 2018 or so. Um, in July of 2019, WHO declared the Congo Ebola outbreak a world health emergency. So even in the last six months, hmm. Ebola is still a thing. Super Would that not be considered a bigger deal party. than... 
The HIV injury system will kill the coronavirus. Mm. <laughs> yeah, release the HIV sperm from your cock and we can we can kill this thing, Drew. This is all your fault. Um, I'm going to share it with you, Frank. Ebola, two years later and 11,000 deaths later. Several experts have pointed out that in spite of the uh, Ebola virus, I don't know, Ebola facts. I can't tell how many people have been killed to this. It seems like thousands. At least 200 in the Congo by November of 2018 alone had died. So 200 people in the Congo had died from it. And this has claimed 100 people worldwide. So... I mean, if they found something out tomorrow and fixed it, what which I'm not got? saying they will, oh, but if a they little did, bit of the bubbly. That's it. We're talking That's about it. bubbly. Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> yes, if I die first, Joe can have all my video games collection, but yes. I want my coffin made out of Nintendo yeah. NES cartridges, but the rest goes to Joe. My right. porn collection goes to Drew. Oh, you can have all that sticky pages. Um, the Ministry of Health and DRC officially declares the outbreak over on July 2018. 54 cases of Ebola virus recorded during the outbreak, 33 deaths, 2018. That's weird because I, excuse me. That's weird because I just read that in 2019 they declared at least what's going on in the Congo a world epidemic. I don't know. Not a lot of people. A, not a, uh, world health emergency. Not a lot of people dying of it in America. Uh, I mean, not a lot of people dying of uh, the the uh, fucking coronavirus right now. There's only like five cases in America, period. Um, I might be six. Ebola but. viruses in the U.S. Cases diagnosed in the U.S. Four cases evacuated to U.S. from other countries. Seven total cases. Eleven deaths. Two. There have been two deaths in the U.S. Two fucking people. Damn. That's it, though. Two fucking people died of Ebola. Two. Oh, Ebola. Two people died of Ebola from the recent outbreak in the last years. Two people. Two people. There's more people dying of, like, spontaneous combustion than Ebola. I also feel had that shit on lockdown, though, here, too. Yeah, I mean, they know what they're doing because we're fucking vaccinated. That's why. Because we're fucking vaccinated. You know who gets Ebola? The people that aren't vaccinated. And you know who also gets Ebola? Uh, the people who pass it on when it fucking mutates. That's why you don't want it to mutate. That's why you have a vaccine. You take a vaccine, you can't get it. It doesn't mutate. People don't know how a virus works. That's why the fucking virus is mutated in these fucking animals. Because they're all interbreeding and intermingling with their fucking viruses, and then they finally one of those viruses happened to mu to merge into another one, and it created a super virus and a mutated virus, because they're mutate they're, they're bouncing all around until they mutate. But if you stop it, then it doesn't bounce around and then mutate into something different. You stop it and it just stops and it goes away eventually, and you don't have it. But if you don't vaccinate, then I mean I'm just telling that's what happens. Not that I trust the vaccinations I mean, either. Right. You know, some... I, I get it. I The details in that, that's where I'm like, I mean, no, clearly I don't know most either. people know more than I do. I follow a guy who's been doing this wall to wall for fucking two weeks. Every time they update the numbers, another 10 hour live stream. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ already, dude. <laughs> we get it. Yeah. Like five people. Beer, you've got a new subscriber. Let me see what's going on with that. Uh, Thomas Dupree. What up, Thomas Dupree? Thanks for subbing to the channel, man. Welcome. We're getting weird. Later on, I'm going to diddle Drew. Uh, five people have been stricken with coronavirus in the U.S. There are no deaths uh, that have been reported. Um, the flu kills up to 650,000 people per year worldwide. Just the flu. Well, the flu itself is even a, a bigger thing than... Yes, this. I mean... The much bigger. The only reason why that this is scary or this is like become scary is because it's new. So because it's new and it's spreading and people are dying of it, it's like, oh my God, what the fuck? But right now, the flu is spreading and people are dying of it in like times 10. Like for every case of coronavirus that's happening out there, there are um, 
there's more people getting the flu and there's more people dying of the flu, the regular flu. Um, but the, but the coronavirus, I guess, is more aggressive. So, I mean, like, put it this way. If you infected everybody, I think if you infected everybody who has the flu with the coronavirus, there would probably be a, a higher death toll is what I'm saying. So I think that that's the scary part. That's what's scary. What's scary is the amount of people that die from the coronavirus. I don't know. I don't know the percentages. In fact, somebody in the chat, maybe one of you guys fucking know. Maybe one of you I'll guys. Tell you know. right now, the the percentage on the uh, coronavirus is about two percent. Only two percent have died so far, but it's such a fresh thing that how many people that are of those five thousand are going to die is the so, question. So, but you're telling me five thousand people got that virus. Five thousand currently have it, and a um, hundred people have died from, and those are estimated numbers. Double check and make so, sure I haven't lost my mind here. Yeah, four thousand five hundred currently have it versus a hundred that have died. So just shy of two percent. So I'm 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 gonna bet. We don't know how many are infected either because China's not telling us the real numbers. But I'm gonna bet that you know what I mean. They're probably they're probably really close, but. You know, probably less people die of the flu, like over in like as a percentage. You know what I mean? Like if only 5,000 people had the flu, probably like mm. almost all of those people would probably survive. Almost. Probably be maybe 50, 50 to 100 deaths. So that's about the it's same. In America, yeah, you'd have like infants and, you know, Betty White and shit dying a bit, but. Yeah. Who knows what to believe with the media? I mean, no doubt about it. We don't know what the fuck they're doing. What's really going on? We have no idea. They could know all kinds of shit ahead of what we know. We don't know. Um, Yo, Bird, what's up, man? Let me get uh, Dr. Earl and Bird in here. Dr. Earl's still here. No, Dr. Earl took off. Dr. Earl, now, I'm he, sorry, bro. He, he freaked out because he was um on mute. like mod mute or whatever and couldn't figure out why. Oh, sorry, Dr. Earl. I was going to put you on. Uh, we talked about Bad Bunny all last week, so I kind of already talked about her. Dr. Earl wanted to talk about her, but... So come on back in, Dr. Earl. What up, Bird? I mean, just know if you get brought into the room and you're on mod mute, it's because, you know, Joe's waiting for the right time to bring you on, but he wants you on, you know? Yeah. What's going on, guys? You guys want some coyote <laughs> raping? What's going on, man? How are you? Uh, this whole corona, corona virus is fake news. Oh, it's not. Why is it fake news? <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I don't fucking know. <laughs> give me a line with numbers my coronavirus. Might be. The numbers might be. It, it might yeah, be. It, it might be over, sure. kind of overhyped stuff. I mean, yeah, that could be it. But this is a new fuck. This is a fucking thing to fucking scare everybody. Like, I'm sure people are sick. I'm not saying that, but I'm sure there are like less people sick died or whatever but it's not as bad as the media is making it out to be like you i just heard you just say this just a second ago china's not giving us the real fucking numbers like we don't know what's going on well i think i think i think it's the opposite i think it's actually worse than they're saying i don't think so i think there's a lot more people sick i think china's inflating the numbers for what reason they're the fuck out of people like, why, but why? It, like, uh, do you think because of the whole Hong Kong thing, they're trying to control something? I mean, like, why? What's the what's the point of it? I can't explain it well, but um, it's it could be the like the scare people from the Hong Kong thing. It's I don't know. That's we're just already scared. We're already scared enough to eat their fucking food because we don't know what's in it. Now you're trying to say they're scaring us with a virus. Bird, I love you, man, uh, but I don't. I think it's possible drink, you don't I know what. Drinking. I don't think you know what the fuck you're talking about. To me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say Biological warfare out here. Yeah. Jacob. If they want to scare everybody, I just say that there's a fucking meteor coming to the planet. We're going to die. You call this shit a lot easier, wouldn't it? Yeah, make it a hell of a lot easier. Unless someone's trying to sell masks. You know? Well, then Tommy would be the first in line. What you need, what you need to start doing, is to start reading reports from Chinese people, and also reading reports from American or English reporters reporting from China. And you need to start reading like third-party sites that are doing investigations, because the mainstream media is just spitting out either what the governments told them or whatever they want to say. So whatever, 
but you need to start looking at like third party media outlets or independent media because they'll actually start calling the hospitals and getting tallies and start you know what I mean they'll they'll actually get reports from local schools of how many kids are sick and they'll start looking at the numbers and realizing that something don't seem right you know so or 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 finding out that it's really just the flu and now people everybody thinks they have the coronavirus but it's the flu and how are they confirming the cases to really know and is it worse people is it are not just dropping yeah well I've seen yeah. videos of people just dropping like a fly like what the fuck really see that where's that yeah oh there's this video there's there's this video going around of this like nurse over there wherever the fuck they are saying that this, it's actually 90,000 people who are actually infected but that video also shows you when people just fall to the ground bro it's fucking creepy really you sure that wasn't the El Paso shooting video <laughs> oh <Yeah>. no <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me see. Um, let me see if I can find some video of some of this shit. This shit's fucking weird. The city where the deadly coronavirus outbreak began. Officials there say the virus is now spreading faster. So far, it's killed at least 81 people in China. More than 2,700 others have been effect infected across 13 countries. Five of those cases are here in the U.S. Ramy Innocencio has been covering this story from Beijing after leaving Wuhan last week. Ramy, how are people there reacting? Sure, good morning. Well, China's health minister, Ma Xiaowei, has said that he expects infections to continue to rise. And of course, that has everyone here in the country even more nervous. Now, get this Wuhan and at least 16 other cities with a population of more than 50 million people are still on some kind of transport lockdown. And we spoke to one American stuck in Wuhan, and he says that panic is starting to rise. The biggest problem is I just wish I so, could get my... So 8,000 people have died of the flu in 2019, by the way. 8,000 people died of the flu in 2019. Um, let me see what this guy's going to say. Family off where we need to go to America. American uh, Justin Steese yeah. and his wife Bert. Ling have lived together in Wuhan <laughs> for the past year and a half. It's their just fault. three weeks ago, Ling gave birth to their baby boy, Calm. My biggest fear is that I would go out, get sick, not knowing it, and then come home and spread it to Ling and the baby. Steese was a soldier in the National Guard for five years, but his wife doesn't have a U.S. visa yet, and he can't leave Wuhan to finish her paperwork. Otherwise, I would have evacuated with the rest of the people and got my wife and kid out of here. He and reportedly 1,000 other Americans are now stranded as the Chinese government works to contain the deadly virus within its borders but it's quickly worked its way around the world. This case poses no immediate threat to the general public. On Sunday, Los Angeles County officials tried to reassure the public they weren't in danger after two more cases in the U.S. were confirmed. One there and one in Maricopa got? County. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> Chinese government wants to kill the world confirmed. Chink chank chong gook cat eating wok. Learn to <laughs> oh <my> drive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Learn to yeah, drive. Right. Learn to drive. No, I was going to say maybe they are embracing <laughs> this. It's population control. They already limit their family or their, the, what, families to one sibling or whatever. Yeah. Like, well, maybe we can start having brothers and sisters again if we just let this thing like wipe out half the country. Yeah, in a way, you're. No I mean, problem. it's it's sick and fucked up, but in a way, it's true. You're like, this is horrible. We need to stop this. But it's in the back of your head, you're like, oh, kind of fucking. Yeah, it's not. It's not. You will stop it though. I mean, I think it's human nature to still stop it. But in the back of your head, it is true that like, goddamn, this could. How about here's how you deal with population control? We find out how to go to other planets to live there. That's how you fucking deal with that. You don't let people die here. You figure out how to go to another planet. Uh, but yeah, I'm but so how into. Far away from that. Uh, probably pretty far. It looks like <laughs> since we're retarded. <laughs> um, but I would love to do that. That's the you know a little too Star Trek for me. Hope you guys subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Hit the like button and the bell and all that other bullshit. Um, what else is going on today, guys? Uh, whatever you guys want to uh, talk about, we'll go into. I think I nailed everything I wanted to kind of run over. He had one more thing, and that was uh, Sean Weiss getting arrested and uh, looking even more like a oh, crumpled dude. piece of shit. 
I saw that. Jeez. This is now the third time I've put him in a video, and it's like this guy gets more creepy looking every time. And I just want to save him, man. I want to. I want to bring him. I want to bring him. Get him on the ice again. Get him all fatted up. Get him to a big fat looking Jew uh, instead of this scrawny looking fuck foot face. Uh, Sean White, forty-one years old. That's unbelievable. Forty-one. He looks sixty-nine or seventy. I mean, really, dude. This just four years ago. I mean, just four years ago, he was kind of what you would expect him to look like based right. off of the Mighty Ducks movies. Because he did just that four years ago. He did that sort of um, like hangout, right? Like with the cast, they got together for something, and he he looked normal. In fact, I think we thought like, oh wow, he lost a lot of weight. That's pretty cool, and he looked good. But now, he looks like, uh, well, he looks like uh, fucking JB's uh, grandfather. I, fucking Jesus. crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why did they say oh, that? This guy was in the episode of King of Queens back then, bro. I saw him before. Jesus. Really? Goldberg from Mighty Ducks was in King of the Queen, uh, King of Queens? Sean, Sean Ways. He was in the episode of King of Queens. What did, what did he play? A well, cocksucker? That was way back when, though. Did he play a dick sucker? No, he's not. Was he just like a one-off episode or something? Yeah, it was. uh, Yeah, yeah, it was one episode. Uh, 130 have died so far. uh, 131 because this dude looks like he's got it, too. But, um, (laughs) yeah, 2017 was his first meth bust. And, you know, he's been getting in trouble about every six to 12 months you know, in uh, in the mug shots. I mean, you saw the one back in August of 2018 where uh, it was all over the place. They had the the photo comparisons from the Mighty Ducks to him, and now this is like the new one. And if you just compare August of 2018 to now, that's even night and day. Yeah. Like, we were looking at the 2018 photo and going, wow, that's rough. Now I'm looking at him now and going, geez, can we go back to 2018 for this guy? It reminds me of the other day when I saw the uh, the basketball player who uh, the guy from the Celtics that used to play in the Celtics. Did you see that? You're going to say Kobe? Oh, Jesus. No, no, oh, my Devontae God, no, West. no. The Celtics player. Uh, what was his name? We saw him. He was now he's like he was getting beat up in the street, and he looked like he was oh, on Delonte drugs. West. Yeah, Delonte West. It looked like I, I saw Delonte West. I was like, that's Delonte hey. West. What the fuck? He last played for the Mavericks. But dude, was I mean? Didn't he have millions of dollars? I mean, it's kids. Too. He goes quick if you get uh, comfortable with it. I guess. I mean, he played for a, he played at least seven solid seasons. Delonte West. Oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah. Hey, let's get gay. Let's get gay. I want that gay. Oh my God! I want that gay. Let's get gay. It's a party with the gays. I love gays. I love gays. I want gays, I'm not straight I want gay, 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 gay I want that gay up in my face huh. 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 Let's get so gay Let's get so gay And I love gays in my face I'm- What else can, can this crazy boy do? Find out Friday on Monetize This Oh, oh shit no, what in the world? Oh, man. Dude, leaving a Monetize God, This God. cliffhanger June bug, what up June? He was ripping weights the other day. Wow. Uh, Jacob all excited and then dropped the big bomb back on back against him basically what? at the end of the show. Yeah, that was it's wild. I I think I think um I think it was Leah. I think she seduced him somehow, Junebug. I think Leah that was quick. I, I think Leah it's promised nudes. Minutes on the this week. I think Leah promised uh Junebug nudes. Wasn't that uh the trick with D Moon years ago? That's what I'm saying. It's like the, it was like the new D Moon. Uh oh. Could be onto something here. I think I am. My uh exploit just fucking froze. It's um I went to put his name up there as the top donator and the whole thing just froze on me. Uh let me see if I can fix it. Let's see. Hold on, maybe I can get it still on but it's frozen yeah it's fine it's still on it's yeah, fine it. it's just fucked up is all yeah the chat wants chinese food now yo dude oh you know what we haven't had chinese food in a yeah, while because i actually want chinese food right now yeah dude i want some now too that why did you fuck oh fuck everybody what the fuck i want 
Chong I want some Chong with some rice. Mm. In Chang Chong. Put some dim sum. Put a little dim sum on sauce. that sum I young guy. Oh, you Actually, hold the coronavirus. So hold it. Hold it. Egg roll. Hold the coronavirus. Yeah. Well, I, I bet you. Delonte West. He spent nine years in the NBA. I feel bad for that guy, dude. Yeah. Even if, even if he didn't have to throw in the year, that's four and a half million dollars. Why? Because he looks like a so goblin. Playing, you go from playing with LeBron James to fucking getting pummeled in the middle of the street. Well, didn't he? Is he really the guy that fucked LeBron James' mom? Everybody's saying that. Look, I don't believe that to this day, bro. Like to this day, I still don't believe that. I don't know. That's just too. That's See, weird. That's when LeBron was about to go to the, to the playoffs, and that just it was like a big rumor at the time when LeBron was about to go to the playoffs to like throw him off. Really? What? Yeah, that's when Nigger. Kobe won the championship too. That's when. Bro, <laughs> what else we got? Oh, a little oh. bit of the bubbly. Oh. That's it. Oh Want some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> Drew wants a piece of the singer Jan Terry's asshole. I don't want to lose you this way. You're the only thing that matters. <laughs> I don't want to lose you tonight. Just need your love. Junebug, thanks for that donation. And it's Costanza. What's up, man? Jan Terry, like that old. Some like weird obsessions, dude. Jan Terry, man, she was in a Marilyn Manson video one time. Like they brought in Jan <laughs> Terry to, to to have a. Marilyn Manson brought Jan Terry in for a private concert, and it was just so weird. Yeah. She she talked about like her pussy being beaten. Like extra money for catering or something that week and felt extra generous? I don't know. It's, uh, but she's a fucking weird person, Jan Terry. I mean, this must be like her calling, right, to now have YouTube? Because back in the 90s, I don't even know how you f discovered her back then. Like, like, how did people know about Jan Terry back in the day? It's hard to find her. Wasn't yeah. hard to find her. Well, I mean, she's a big fat fucking pig, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, but nowadays, like, she she's just on YouTube. But back in the day, w how did you find out about her? Trading tapes, like PBS, like I don't know. How did people find out about Jan Terry back in the day? I'm literally asking this question. I really don't know. I I literally I did not know about her until uh, fucking Costanza sent it around. I mean, I guess I guess the way people knew about her is maybe like she got like independent like movies released or VHSs or something. Somebody probably in the chat who's o over 35 <laughs> remembers what we're talking about with Jan Terry and knows where she came from. I could actually you know what I have this thing in front of me called Google. We could probably figure that out. I'm trying to find it myself. She's not even pulling up on Wikipedia for me. I apologize for my screen to everybody. It's stuck, so you're not going to see any other screen changes for the rest of the show because XSplit um, froze on me. My bad. So it's just going to look stuck like that. So, But, you know, we're, we're getting towards the end. Jan Jane Terry. Terry. Years the fuck? Become popular. I, could sh I can't even show it to you because my thing froze. Um, here she is. Wait, what is this? Getting cunt. <laughs> yeah, she's six years old. Jesus. So she was 40? And yeah, she is a gnarly looking... Like, if you took Barbara Streisand and you made her like 100 more pounds and made her gnarly looking, like like gross, like then you get Jan Terry. <laughs> I'd still fuck her. She Ugh. looks like Luna Vachon when she was driving semi trucks. Right. Ooh. Oh yeah. It, well, that's what it is for music. So that's the answer because it says the return of Chicago's cult musician Jan Terry. So yeah, she was in the Chicago scene back in the day. Um, He's a dyke butch, like a, a daily double. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> She's already a daily double, so I mean, hey, it kind of looks out. like uh, Tommy's mom, kind of. It's Tommy's. Oh my god, it's, it's Tommy's <laughs> real mom. I mean, sw swear to God. Um, for sure. Never mind. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Tommy's barber. 
Uh, did you guys see how they're saying that Kobe's death was a conspiracy now? Which I've seen a lot yeah, of dude, I've been, I've been, dude, I've been hearing about that all weekend. Yeah, I've seen I, a, I would actually believe it. Which and one? Apparently because Kobe Bryant was in a legal battle with a pharmaceutical company over the name Black Mamba. Because there's a pharmaceutical company who's trying to release a, some pills that are named Black Mamba. I don't know. It, it might be bullshit, though. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, they hadn't well, even put the fire out. They hadn't even put the fire out from the helicopter crash, and the conspiracies were already going. I, I swear, people hear of some epic, over-the-top news story, and go, mm, "There's got to be like 17 different things we could find about this." There was one that was like, "Okay, his number was this, LeBron's number was that," and the <laughs> the day before, LeBron passed him in, in all-time scoring, but yeah. then this number and it was like a bunch of numbers in sequence or something i'm like okay they're fucking numbers numbers all, you can always spin a number to work for you i fucking, hey, I fucking 24 24 plus two yeah well six the day they died i don't know that's so funny i mean not funny but it's like there's so many conspiracies it's like hard to keep track of which one were you know what i mean there's so many of them and I the get score it. at halftime with uh, yeah. the women's team USA against UConn that happened yesterday. The halftime score was 31 31. That's equals 62. Flip that around, 26. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, the fucking Matrix. Billy the Fridge. You can't determine a fucking game score like that on fucking purpose. Like, that's, that, 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 it was that theory is fucking. Reference. Why didn't Thank you, women Drew. You, you just said it wrong. Team. I don't know why Slappy Fez's um, donation didn't read, but Slappy Fez, what up? Terry Schiavo, Tommy NC would tear that up. Still in the still in mourning. Lakers fans thought they would have said goodbye to Magic before Kobe. Yeah, no doubt about it. Magic oh, Johnson fuck. is Magic Johnson probably owns that pharmaceutical company. He wants to be the money. Maybe he's the one who did. Yeah, I mean this guy's oh, still I know alive. This is a random man. Mm-hmm. I dig this new donation. I like it. This yeah. gif that I'm looking at now. I really I liked mon- Drew. That monetized this man. It was um <laughs> that's one of my favorite monetized this is in a while. It was it was a fun show that night. I liked that. And then Corrupted was good. We haven't had a back to back in a while that was like good good. So that was that was a fun couple days. You know, we usually like one's like you know, one's a hit and the other one may not be as good or something. But we had two. I thought we had back to backs. Maybe some people didn't, but I thought we had back to backs. So, yeah, I like that yeah, donation. That I heard corrupted yet? So, oh, corrupted, corrupted, catch up. Corrupted's better. I think corrupted's better than monetized. This probably so. Yeah, you might. I think you like that one. I think especially the beginning with the JB sound bit. Oh my god, what the fuck? Fucking don't fucking spoil it. I don't want to play it because you got to hear it. <laughs> Trust me, it's funny. Leah dug up these sound bits. Sound bites of JB and learned how to do it so she could fucking play shit about JB. Oh she, no. And it's it's kind of it's pretty funny. Right? <laughs> You'll know when the show's about over when they get to a certain question. <laughs> yeah, and then at the end this joke he was reaching oh out. Dude it involved JB admitting he finally has a thing for Leah Loki. Like we know we've always done his whole fucking time. Um, I don't think he'll ever admit it, but they do love each other. It is definitely a connection there. There's definitely a lot, of, a lot of love going on. They're like they're like pals. But I told him if I ever find out that he's sending dick pics to Leah, I'm gonna fuck his wife. So he's got to be careful. Like, and it's because I'll go down oh. to Indiana and I'll plow her. So. Oh, for <laughs> hey, that's Literally. only fair. All right, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's okay. Go ahead. But, I mean, listen, I'm going to go plow her. <laughs> so, you fucking, it's not a joke. That's oh, my all. God. And then, I'll, and then I'll be one of, and then I'll be, I'll, I'll be the father of one of his kids that will have to raise. And it will look like <laughs> me. His kid will. <laughs> and he'll be like, why does this, uh, why does my, why all the kids are normal, but our last kid just always wants to wear a necklace. What's up with that? Um, kid, our last kid wants to wear a fucking surfer necklace and looks like an asshole. No, I'm just kidding. He's wearing backwards hats now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like a fucking cartoon character at this point. I have like, you know, like Doug Funny wore the same thing in Nickelodeon and Doug, and you know how like cartoon characters they always look the same. 
It's like they like you know yeah. the character because like that's like I'm like that. I'm like literally like that's Joe. That's what he looks like. There's a fucking necklace, the hat, the fucking whatever. He's like it's like I'm become a fucking character or something. It's weird. I feel like even like JD's a character like kind of. Yeah, even Drew. It feels like we're all becoming characters. The more we like see each other, it's like always. You know, it's just weird. You become a fucking character on these shows. It's weird. Like you're I, the fucking asshole that everybody loves, and Drew's the fucking gay guy that everybody hates. The gay Whoa. racist idiot. Out of, I, I mean, I, I think I've got a little bit of everything. Apparently, or the guy, I'm just the jack of all trades. The guy that can do no the jackass thing, of all trades. You can do nothing right over there. Uh, Drew, the jackass, Drew. You're just the gay, the gay racist, the gay racist dipshit that nobody likes. So just, just take that. I become any a- <laughs> name that anyone can throw at me somehow fits in a way. Yeah, <laughs> loser. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh Come my on. god. Oh man. How about how about how about this? Idiot. How about this? Niggers can. <laughs> oh, how about that god. word? <laughs> it gets worse I'm- and worse every time you hear it. Uh, Kobe's dead. Uh, he played for the uh, Nagers Conf- oh. cast oh, on the Los God. Angeles Nagers Conf- Oh my God! <laughs> I still can't. I just like it's. Racist. It's so funny because I can't believe she said it. It's like that's perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Nagers Conf- Los Angeles Lakers Conf- oh. Oh. Live on Dude. MSNBC. The hidden it's agenda. Like, what the fuck does the word Knicks have anything to do with Kobe, bro? Yeah, How would so you end bad. up saying that word? It didn't. It didn't. It just probably she just, the at the house. Like, she probably she oh probably god. A, she probably wanted some. She probably got a picture of his dog. She wanted some BBC, bro. That's what it is. She wants some dick. And you know what? Maybe she's one of those people that dates black guys and like they and. Like they tell her to call him that, you know what I mean? Like they have some weird sexual thing. Like I seen a video on, I think it was Pornhub one night, and this black chick was getting banged by a white guy, and in the middle of the video, like I was watching it because she was kind of wild, and I was like, this chick's wild. And then in the middle of it, she goes, like, call me the n word and like slap me and tell me and like you're my master and stuff. And I was like, what the fuck am I? What the hell? And then she kept saying it to him, like, and he was calling her it. I'm like, wait, I'm like, this guy's going to get canceled from Pornhub. <laughs> you know what I mean? This guy calling this chick the That's N-word the- while banging her. If my girlfriend wanted me to call her the f- a fucking N-word or a chink chink chong or a Mexican or whatever, I'd probably fucking do it. Oh, yeah, I'd say whatever the fuck you want. All right, I'll call you that. Let's go. <laughs> But I mean, you know, want me to want me to call you a fat, ugly bitch? I'll do that too. But yeah, whatever you want, I'll take a shit in your head. Uh, but yeah, MSNBC, they 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 are eating their own over there right now. I love it. Eat your own, motherfuckers. (laughs) She tells you to do that. You need to look around for the hidden camera. She make a meme with Booker T in in it. (laughs) That's That's when you sit. That's when you go through her phone when you're done fucking. Oh man, it won't be a phone. Yeah, it'll be a camera. You know what I love? Just a cream Bitch, pie. Come here. Say my name. Yeah. I'll give, I'll give her. Hey, give every her cream pie and give her a bowl. If anybody in the chat wants to jerk off or like touch your pussy right now, uh, hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you're horny right now and you're out there and you're thinking about when this show's over, you're gonna touch yourself a little bit. Uh, it's time to go ahead and hit that like button right now. So just make sure you do that. Don't forget to sign up for the Patreon too. Yeah, yeah, sign I'm up for my page. Right now. Mm. Yeah. Give it to me, Daddy. You go, Drew. Mm, Drew. <laughs> I'm gonna drool on Drew when this show's over. Ooh. You like that? Ooh, All right, we better get watch. I'm sorry, we gotta get out of here. My video is frozen right now, so I apologize. My exploit is frozen. So we're gonna get out of here, man. Thanks to everybody who called. I'm sorry, Dr. Earl, we didn't get your call earlier or something. I, I missed you, man. But shout out to everybody. Yo, he was freaking out. Was he? What was he saying? <laughs> what was he saying? Was he nah, like? He was just, you know, typing. He was just typing shit. Oh man, just I would have like, helped what, him. What the hell? He had the, he had the red, he had the red mute. He had that mod mute, and it's like, dude, just chill. You'll you'll get unmuted when he's ready to uh, put I'm, you on. I'm really mad. I missed this call though. I really was looking forward to talking to Doctor Earl, man. Especially about that chick who said I was ugly last week. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what happens when they rage, you know, it it, it goes over the top. That I mean, when weird. you go around showing a joke from a mugshot, I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, my eyes closed. <laughs> I mean, no my eyes closed yeah. all that. I'm sure the fucking you I'm, like sh- I'm sure the 19-year-old women are just just want a fucking half-bearded fucking white guy who's looking at his dick. Like, I mean... At least show the blue eyes, at least. Yeah, at least that's my best feature. My eyes are fucking closed. <laughs> the fuck is going on? The, you know, the com- I've never... It's weird to be complimented about your physical looks, but it, throughout my life, the two constants that I've heard is, like, your eyes are... I love your eyes. And then I've heard, like, you have a nice ass. Like, those are the things that I've heard multiple times from different girls. And so... But no, you can't see my ass in that picture, and my fucking eyes are closed. Well, what the fuck, Doctor Earl? But Doctor Earl looks like a mongoloid, so he's like, "Oh, it's whatever. This is what I look like." Oh, uh, you know, you know what he should. You know, public looking like this, I'm gonna pull out one of his shitty pictures. Doctor Earl looks like a fucking rejected, shameless cast member. Imagine if Doctor Earl. It was, imagine if Doctor Earl was like, "Who would you rather bang, him or me?" <laughs> we should have had him. <laughs> that could have been really funny. Oh, and then she says him. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks for the time. Oh my god. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Cool. The cops are following him. Thank you for your time. The cops arrested that. I'm gonna blow myself and. It'd be funny if he. Go ahead. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if he got arrested like ten minutes like after he did that shit? Like, <laughs> like sex- some girls <laughs> they, they get it for like sexual harassment or whatever. Yeah, some girls said you were harassing him. Call. <laughs> he calls in Joe Cronin. I told him to make Joe, sure I'm getting arrested. I told him to make sure he was secretly recording whenever he went up to people to ask them in case something happened. So like you go up to someone like, Hey, would you like to be on this sh- YouTube show? Like, like, how old are you? Oh, my God, he's trying to fucking rape me! Or like, whatever, and then he gets that on tape. They're like, freak out. Like, that'd be so funny. Anyway. Oh my God, I've got a great question for him this yeah. weekend. Have him go out and ask someone, would you rather fuck me or this person? And he pulls up a picture of this new Sean Weiss mugshot. Oh, no, no. Pull a picture <laughs> of Tommy. Oh, oh yeah. Tommy, me, or Dr. Earl. Who would the girls rather bang? Tommy, me, or Dr. Earl? Um, all right, we're gonna. I gotta get out of here. So we're gonna get out of here, and I gotta fix my computer because I fucked up my computer because I'm an idiot. Um, thanks for listening to Throwdown tonight, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow for AEW review. Thursday for uh, out of nowhere, and Friday for monetize this June Bug. Thank you, June Bug, who dropped sixty nine dollars. My mother's turning sixty nine in March. You know what that means? I'm gonna share her with the community. <laughs> Yeah. That's fucked up. Uh, Bird, Gatekeeper, Drew. Shout out to the chat. Big Fuego, Jacob, Chaotic Behavior. And uh, Drew, the Gatekeeper. Derail your dick. And the great bird who makes his way around the entire community. Uh, (laughs) All right. We'll see. (laughs) Uh, We will see you. I love you. We will see you uh, in hell. See you all in hell. Love you guys. Seriously. See you later, man. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for helping me. And uh, had fun. Bye. Mm. Gonna get that dick tonight. Gonna fuck your wife just right. Gonna put it in so fucking tight. Gonna come. Gonna make it die tonight. Uh, Coronavirus. Inside my mama's puss. It's bleeding out. Her ass and bleeding out of tush. All the gooks, they got it. All the crackers got it. All the white people bring it now to Africa. Uh, no matter what race, you gonna die. I'm not in the mood. Goodbye. Bill Cosby's car.